Hello and welcome to court. Before we jump into the subject matter of today's video, I just wanted to say there are 2,000, 2,000 courtiers here now. We are a court honey. Thank you all for being members of our court. It truly warms our heart that you want to see our little family do our little history bounded thing. So let's jump into it. I often use the term, not necessarily here, but on Instagram, Google it because Google is free. Today's video is not sponsored by Google, but if it was, it has a free trial happening all month and I highly suggest checking it out. You can enter in anything that you are searching for and you should be able to find it. Google. It's literally free. But when I say this, I will sometimes get people who will message me and they will provide screenshots and say, I Googled it and I cannot find this which sucks because although Google is free and although you can use it to look up a variety of things, sometimes the way that the search engine is set up leads you more to things that you would typically look up rather than things you might be trying to learn about. And because the algorithm is set up in such a way that it wants you to continue looking up things that you already search on, it makes it extremely hard to broaden your horizon, especially when you're not looking for a specific research paper or book or article. If you are just looking up general terminology, sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the things that you need. So I thought that I would show the process that I use whenever I'm looking something up and I don't quite find the exact answer that I'm looking for. We are working on a bunch of 1940s resort wear looks and we do not know much about the 1940s. So there was a lot of research involved to even get to the point where we felt comfortable tackling such a varied era. Let's look at what this process sort of looked like from my end using Google and a couple of other search engines. So the first thing that I want to Google is 1940s resort wear and scroll down to the images. And I found this image that I really like, but I wasn't quite sure how 1940s it was. Just because I like something doesn't mean that it actually fits the era. Now, I could have stopped here and said, I found a picture, it said 1940s, and that's that. But underneath the picture, the description said 1930s to 1940s. So I wanted to just make sure that this was covering the decade of the 40s and not the decade of the 30s. We don't go for historical accuracy on this channel, but if I'm saying that we're doing 1940s resort wear, I want to, you know, kind of be doing 1940s resort wear. So with that image in mind, I went ahead and I looked up the Internet Archive, which is a really great resource if you're looking at anything for costuming. Um, and I just went ahead and I typed in what I was looking for, which is 1940s resort, sorry, <laughs> wear. And it did not take me to 1940s resort wear whatsoever at all. So I changed my terms to magazine, 1940s magazine. And I did get some options with that search term, uh, specifically this Life magazine from December 13th, 1943. And now I'm just pulling up some images to see if the hair matches, to see if I can find any images of women in pants that sort of match that model that I found. At this point, I'm really just scrolling through to see if I can catch anything that would fit that era or catches my eye or matches the photo that I found. This is a part that is just simply going to take a little bit of time and is going to require a little bit of patience, especially if you're going through archived images like this. I didn't quite find the things that I was looking for just going through a brief search as I scroll through the images that did come up. So I want to search the early 19... 40s, late 1930s to see if there was any crossover in fashion, which is likely. I mean, it didn't become 1940 and people just throw away their clothes. 
So if I'm able to see that the trend of having these very wide leg pants was still happening in like 1939, it's very likely that it would be happening in 1940. Sometimes even with the best searches, you might not find the things that you were quite looking for. So although I have a magazine from 1939, it isn't really showing me any full-size images of anyone in the photos. The advertisements are mostly for things and not for clothing. This is where I begin my search for the early 1940s advertisements, specifically 1943. Sometimes you just have better luck with advertisements when you're looking up clothing than you do with magazines. Even though clothing was featured in magazines, it's not necessarily something that would be easy to find if you have to search through the entire magazine page by page. The advertisements I am finding are postcard style, which isn't very helpful for me, and I still am not able to find anyone wearing pants. I didn't get a clip of this, but I did try searching 1941 magazine and advertisement but it was much like the previous search. I didn't really find anything that worked. So now I'm going with 1941 newspaper. That could also be a hit or miss, but oftentimes there will be pieces of people in real life scenarios. So it is likely that I could find something going through this search. I am finding a lot of different newspapers, but they don't look like they'll be fruitful. So I'm going to look up a Sears ad. Sears used to put out these catalogs, um, so the likelihood that someone might have uploaded a catalog that is able to be seen, that is from 1941, is pretty high. But I guess it's not high enough because I did not find any 1941 Sears ads or catalogs or Sears anything, really. As you can see, I did try searching for a Sears catalog specifically, and that came up with a 1977 Sears catalog, but um, a little past the 40s. <laughs> Not quite what I'm looking for, just a little off. So I'm going to return back to Google and look up 1942 pants women. I could have put women's pants, but I thought that making it simple would make it easier to find things. And I am finding some wide leg pants. I'm finding a little bit of straight leg pants, but there is some variety here and I am actually able to find things that are from that time period, which is really good. I do want to double check just to make sure. So I am looking up 1939 pants. Some of the same images are coming up, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Remember that people wouldn't have just thrown out their clothes. So finding those Similar images is not something that really scares me off, but I am finding wide leg pants, finally. As I drew to the end of my search, I actually found a pattern from the 1940s for the Hepburn pants, which is perfection. That is definitely something that could have aided my search a lot earlier on, but I was still able to get some verified sources to see that the silhouettes truly hadn't changed and this would still fit in the 1940s. While the 1940s isn't my strongest knowledge of fashion, I do know a few things. I know that not everyone would have worn the same thing. Not everyone would have been able to afford to even buy new patterns or change up their pants or be able to afford as much fabric as a wide lip pant takes. Why was that so hard to say, wide leg pant? Wide? leg pant wide leg pant it shouldn't be that hard i don't i don't know what was going on with my mouth i specifically wanted to go with this style because i wanted something that was easy to move in something that i can run after my child in that's comfortable to sit in to eat in all that jazz the biggest piece of advice I have when you're struggling to research something is to ask follow-up questions. Don't just stop at the first answer you get. It may be correct, but you definitely want to verify just to make sure. Did you notice how I had to use many different search terms just to get what I was looking for? Just because you're typing in the right words doesn't mean you're typing them in in the right order. And sometimes 
You may be typing in exactly what you're looking for, but you still need to ask those furthering questions just to make sure that you're actually getting the correct results. I hope these tips and tricks help you be able to Google a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all 2000 of you court tiers out there. Thank you so much for joining this court. We recently opened up Kofi memberships and a private discord if you would like to join this court and get a more official role. So if you want to see what we look like unedited, join our Kofi membership today. If you missed Costube Symposium, check out the complete playlist over here or, or over here. On one of these sides, there's a complete playlist for the entire free event. Until next time, bye.